Hi and I. This is the second video um, taking you through the process of creating your waltz for piano. Um, on the screen here is the sheet that you will be working through. This sheet has three different slides. Today we're going to be mostly working on this first slide and also in BandLab. So you will need that open and you'll need to find the thing that's called writing a waltz year nine assessment project. So these sheets will take you through the whole process of creating the piece. It will be marked against the GCSE composing criteria. You have three weeks to complete this task and it will be set for five lessons during that time. So that's five hours worth of work. The whole piece will have a ternary form structure, A, B, A. That means that it will have a first section which you're going to work on probably for the first three lessons. And then it will have a different section and then the first section will come back at the end. Some of you will just do the first section. Most of you will manage two sections. A few of you might do all three sections, which would be fantastic. Okay, And as you're watching these videos, presumably you know that there are videos going to be there for each section. So the first thing is to plan your chord sequences. And we're going to be dealing with four phrases. First phrase, second phrase, third phrase, fourth phrase. You can see here, the first phrase is already filled in. And also in BandLab, it's already here. So we can have a listen to it. It's also been labelled up with what chord is playing all the way across here. So there's C, C, F, G, A minor, D minor, C, G. And if I play that, you'll hear just a little bit of tune at the beginning, but mostly just the two piano parts. So because that's ended with C followed by G, we've got that imperfect cadence there, making the music feel like it wants to carry on. Going back to this sheet, we can see that our second phrase, we need to end with a perfect cadence. So your task today is to fill in this, okay? And for that one, you've got the second phrase to fill in and the fourth phrase. Now it's up to you whether you use exactly the same thing for those two phrases or whether you decide to have them different. And then once you've done that, you're going to work in BandLab and you're going to create the whole of this section in BandLab. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. So the third phrase, it says we're going to have identical to this first phrase, which means in BandLab I can highlight all of that. Probably that bit as well. OK, I can copy it using Control c or Command-C if I'm on a Mac. Now, I don't want it to go afterwards at bar 9. I want to leave 8 bars empty, so it's going to go up here at number 17. And I'm going to paste that with um, Control v or Command-V. And then I've got that section in, so I've already done those two lines. OK, but then I need to go back here because I've got to plan what these chords are going to be. OK, now up here, you've got five chords to choose from, so you need to be able to play those chords. And when you're planning, you can plan this on keyboard or on guitar or on ukulele or using an online keyboard, whatever you've got that works for you. But once you've done that and it's written down here, you're going to need to be working in BandLab to create your work because that's where your work is going to be marked and that's how you're going to hand it in. OK, so say, for example, I decided that I was going to use, I'm going to put it in, in, in um in letters first, just because it's a bit easier to understand. Um, if I have a C, um, F, A minor. Let's see what that sounds like. So C, F, A minor. Feels like it wants to go to a G. So I'm going to go G. Okay, so you can just write stuff in or you can try stuff out first. It's a better idea, a much, much better idea to try stuff out first. OK, because if I get rid of those, whoops, um, here we go, um, and I decide that instead I'm going to maybe go uh, D minor, and then G, and then G again, and then, I don't know, D minor again. OK, if I listen to that... It just doesn't have the same flow to it, and that's partly because it's too similar. There's too many chords the same. 
but it's also because those chords just don't work very nicely one after the other. Okay, so some chords will sound nicer going from one to the next than others, and that's about using your ears and deciding. So I am going to get rid of those, and I'm going to go back to, I think I had C, and then I had A minor, no I didn't, I had F, and then I had A minor, and then I had G. Now obviously there's still two to fill in there, but now I'm going to try and put them in. So, oops, I've forgotten already, my first chord was C. So on here, I can see that this is labelled C. I'm going to take the harmony and the bass line together, like that, highlight them both, copy them, we know how to do that, go to bar 9 and paste them in. Now I've put them in the wrong place, as you can see, so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to highlight the track where I actually want them. There we go, back to bar 9 and there it is. Okay, my second chord is F. Now if I look along here, I'll find an F chord, there it is. Okay, oops, there we go, let's highlight it, copy it, the cursor's in the right place, so I can just paste it. Again, I've put it in the wrong place, so don't worry about making mistakes, everybody does it. There we go, and paste it in. My third one is A minor, so I'm going to find my A minor chord, there it is, copy it, click the right track this time, and paste it in, there it is. And I know that the next one was a G, so I'm going to get a G, copy it, click the right track, paste it in. And I've now got the next four bars of my piece, and they sound like this. Okay, which isn't very interesting, but that's fine because it's just the background. There will be a chance in one of the later lessons to develop your accompaniment and make it a bit more interesting. But at the moment, it's just setting the scene for that waltz that you're going to create. So to today's lesson, everybody should have 32 bars, that's up to here, by the time they've finished. They should have the bit that I put in, the new second phrase that you've created, a copy of the bit that I put in, and then your fourth phrase, which might be the same as your second phrase, or it might be different. And that's what you're aiming to do. No melody work this first time, just the harmony, that's the little chords, and the bass line, which are there listening carefully to your work and making sure that you've got something that you're happy with at the end, but that you're not deleting out anything that I've put in. Things that I've put in need to stay. Okay, so there we go, that's your first lesson's work.